Well, it's raining outside, so I am going to cook some cornbread in a new way on the propane stove. it's Robin so it's raining like I said and I have shown you guys once before how I bake on the propane stove but it was at the end of another video and so today I'm gonna dedicate the whole video to doing this I am doing it in a little bit of a different way so I hope it works out so what I'm gonna do is basically use this like jiffy cornbread mix um, it's just easier and I have these little paper cups that I mix it in so I can just burn them in the fire when I'm done now usually I do this in a pretty shallow pan but this time I'm actually gonna try one of these foil like loaf pans and on the inside I'm going to first cook up and put in some vegetarian cerezo field roast you can use meat if you're a meat eater I am a vegetarian my mom calls me a chigan because I'm mostly a vegan, but I cheat, and that means that I'm not strict. Sometimes I do eat meat, but um, I wanted to share something with you guys for shelf-stable eggs, actually. If you're out in the middle of nowhere and you want to make something that takes an egg, I want to show you something called Egg Replacer. So I am going to go ahead and do this, you know, cornbread mix that calls for... Um, I don't have my glasses on, you guys know I wear glasses. Um, one egg and one third cup milk. So I'm actually gonna use almond milk and I'm gonna show you guys how to use egg replacer because it stays in your cupboard forever and it's meant for baking so when you need it, it's right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link down below for the NRG egg replacer that I get. You can get it at any health food store. I don't have it in the original packaging anymore. I put it inside um, another container inside plastic because the thing about this stuff is it will go everywhere. I mean like flour, so I keep it in here. So basically what you do is I think you mix um, it's a teaspoon of the powder with a tablespoon of water. I could be getting that a little bit off, but I just eyeball it. You mix it together first, so you make like a slurry out of it, so it's kind of like an egg, and then you can add it to any recipe. Not bad, right? Here's what the egg replacer looks like. And you just take a little bit like this, and I put it in one of my throwaway things. Then you add about a tablespoon of water, and you mix it up. And it kind of looks like a, you know, a whipped egg white. And that's what I put in for my egg. So I want this, you know, fake cerezo stuff to get really crispy. So when you bite into it inside of the cornbread, I'm hoping it's gonna be like salty and crispy and spicy and delicious. That's the plan anyway, we'll see if it works out, right? So that soy riso is looking really good. I have mixed up the cornbread mix and I'm going to put it into this pan and then I'm going to show you guys the trick to baking on the propane stove. So here's the trick. You want your flame to be really low and then you want to get a big pot like this or any kind of a pot. Oh, there goes the rain. If you get, Can you guys hear that? I'm out in the forest and it's starting to really come down. Um, so this is going to be yummy. Anyway, here's the secret. You really want to have a pot that has some space between where you're going to put what you're baking and the bottom. So in this case, I found this little $9 pot at a, like kind of like a big lot kind of a store that has a steamer tray so that gave me like an inch between that tray and the bottom and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and put my monstrosity corn beds bread cerezo mix here into here and then i'm going to cover it with foil and also i'm going to put a lid on it so what you're doing is you're trapping in heat and before i put in the actual thing i'm baking I'm going to let it preheat for about five minutes. It gets hot really fast. But while that's preheating, I wanted to correct myself. I had written it on that package. It's one and a half teaspoons of the egg replacer to two tablespoons water. That's what you mix together. That equals one egg. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the cornbread in. And the secret to this is always not to burn myself <laughs> while I film it at the same time. So that has been preheating for, I don't know, five minutes, seven minutes. And I put the cornbread down in there. And then, you know, I've never done anything this big. I usually do something shallow or a little muffin. 
tins. So I'm going to go ahead and put a second piece of foil here to make kind of a tint so that the heat stays in even more because that is the trick to baking on the propane stove. And then I'm going to go ahead and replace the lid and we're going to let it cook for like 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes and like I said, I've never done anything this thick before, so we'll see how it goes. And again, try not to burn myself. Okay, so let's see how it looks, see if it needs any more time. Boy, it's hard to do this with one hand. <laughs> I need a cameraman. Ooh, that doesn't look bad. Come on, get off of there. All right, let's see. Oh, um, I can see it's cooking around the edges. It needs about five more minutes. So I was going to take it out after five more minutes, but the big boy had a hairball, and so it's actually been like 10. Let's see what it looks like. No, that's okay, big boy. You don't worry about it. I cleaned it up. Thank you for puking on the new bedspread. Want some help? All right, buddy. <laughs> Uh, yeah, get on in there. Halfway, huh? He didn't fight that hairball, but he sure is fighting this bedspread. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, so let's see what it looks like now. I don't know if you guys can see that, but if you see some steam come off, um, that's usually a good sign. Okay, this is good. Let's see. Oh, yeah. That looks great. Okay, I'm going to cut it up so you guys can see the inside. So there it is. Perfect. And this is going to go inside some soup. I'm going to go ahead and try a bite so I can let you guys know if it's, uh, you know, too dense or tasty or whatever. Mmm. Oh, my God. The chorizo stuff in there is so good. So that's it. This is my corn chowder that cornbread is buried in the bottom and I'm going to take it outside for me and my friend who is here camping with me and luckily the rain has stopped and look at that view you guys. So we're going to enjoy some of this.